seven signs that it is not love, but instead a trauma bond, okay? <laughs> I read this quote on Instagram by My Mental Health Space, and I'm gonna read you these seven, and they hit home so freaking hard. Number one, you justify their behavior. I know they do this, and they're mean and horrible this way, but they're also so great this way. Guilty. Number two, you feel dependent on the person, whether that's financially dependent on them, whether that's who am I gonna hang out with, <laughs> how I'm gonna be alone, guilty. Number three, you suffer in the relationship. Now, I don't know about you, but I've never been in a relationship that I have not suffered in. So I think, I just think that that's normal and that's the way it's supposed to be. I didn't know. Okay, guilty. Number four, you lie for them. So it's kind of like number one, you justify their behavior. So you keep all the secrets of their abuse. Oh, they called me this, they did that. They, you don't tell people because you know it's abuse deep down inside, so you don't want other to hear it from other people. Guilty. Number five, you think that the abuse is your fault. Well, it's because I said this thing that triggered them, da 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 No, no, no. Abuse is never good. It's never good. The problem is, is we just don't know that you can have a relationship without abuse because we've never had that. Number six, you're unable to change the situation because we are trying to control it. Because <laughs> we're just trying to make it right. And it's not our responsibility. That's codependent. Guilty. Number seven, you fixate on the good days and try to justify like, okay, but it's still good this way. Oh my God, I'm so guilty of this. We use those good days as proof that they do care. But is that enough? No. Before I go into a shame spiral, uh, I'm gonna just sit here and try and give myself grace. That's all I can do at this point. <laughs>